November 3rd, in God's time. God's time is the best time. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 reads, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. This is the word of the Lord. That people without a vision will perish. Sometimes what we pray for, what we wish for, takes time, but it will come. I know that in my own life. I know that in my own practice. That we wait and then it will come. The Lord in unfailing wisdom has appointed a time for the outgoings of His gracious power and God's time is always the best time. We are always in a hurry, isn't it? But the vision of the blessing excites our desire and hastens our longings, but the Lord will keep His appointment. He is never before his time. He is never ahead of his time. But he is never behind time. God's word is spoken here of a living thing that will speak and will come. So this is the living word of God because he's a living God. And God's train is not behind time. It is always on time. The question is when. But only God, the Father, knows the answer. So we have to learn patience. Those that wait upon the Lord will soar on wings of eagles. So patience is the precursor of soaring. And when He speaks, it will not lie. So the lesson here is, it will not tarry, it will be on time. Praise the Lord. Amen.